what is up guys katya books good morning um yeah i thought i'd vlog today do full day reading um as well so yeah i'm gonna take you guys with me so i still have to do cardio and then i gotta do some work or i gotta eat in between but yes so i'm gonna go do my cardio and then i'll catch you guys after so working from home look so stylish but <laughs> it's pretty nice so yeah that's like my setup and stuff i think i showed you guys before but i can't quite remember so let's go have breakfast hi bubba good morning gimli say hi gimli hi say hi baby i love you Something I have been implementing because I found myself eating a lot less fiber than I used to when I was hyper, high, higher carb because I mean sure you can get it from vegetables and stuff but I still found myself lacking because I'm quite low carb and higher fat right now. So I have implemented a prebiotic fiber supplement. So I do count this towards um, my macros and stuff, of course, because it says five carbs. Even those people will argue, oh, but your body doesn't like digest it the same because it's utilized, so you don't really count it, but it's energy. So I still count it, but anyways, yeah, I just got it at Sprouts. So just a pro tip, it helps me get my fiber. All right, so now we are gonna make some tofu scramble. So I've got my tofu in my tofu press pressing away all the water because we don't want to drink all the juices of that um because we are going to make it flavorful but next we got to beef it up because i want to beef it up but i guess i can't really beef it up because i am vegan so anyways we're going to add some more volume and i'm going to be using some cauliflower rice for that but then we got our spices because we want to make it spicy spicy so of course we've got the turmeric this is kind of staple when you're making a tofu scramble just because it gives that yellow color because we all want to trick our non-vegan friends that we're eating egg scrambles even though it doesn't even taste like eggs but tastes more delicious and there is no death involved so and they ain't so chicken period so that's what's up but then we're gonna use a little bit of onion powder we're gonna use some garlic powder now the secret to making it taste kind of eggy we are going to try to make it taste a little eggy is black salt i bought this stuff off of amazon i'll put a link in the description box below if you want to find black salt um it's not like expensive or anything it's just like you can't find it at your normal store because i don't know someone might think it's racist if you go to the store and be like i want some black salt so we're gonna be using black salt but yeah it just has a sulfuric taste and stuff of course you need your spray spritzy spray and yeah so i'm gonna cut this up and then we're gonna start cooking <clears throat> Forgot to mention vegan cheese to add on top.
Okay, time for toppings. So, what I like to put on my scramble to make it kind of Mexican stylish. We've got our sour cream. So I'm using the good karma. This is, this stuff is so good. Um, yeah, I don't know what other brands have sour cream, vegan sour cream, but this one to me tastes the most like regular sour cream, like, you know, titty milk sour cream. So then we've got some hot salsas because I don't know what else you go and put on your eggs, but yeah, so I really like green salsa. So I've got this stuff, Walmart, really good, really good, you guys. Um, oh, Taco Bell sauce. Yo, they sell it, they sell it, and it's so good. My gosh, like I either get the fire or the hot. Um, yeah, but I actually got the fire when I went to get the hot, but it's still just as good. And then I add a little bit of this as well. I think I got that at a, I think you can buy it online, but I got it at a farmer's market. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna top it off with that and then we gonna eat it. And then I have my coffee brewing and so I'm gonna add my crema. So. So I gotta get to work, but I'm gonna grab some diet soda pop. Um, because a little diet soda pop never hurt nobody. So I know some people are totally against it, but hey, if it helps your cravings, your sweet tooth, and your dieting, it you're okay, you know? I'm not like drinking this entire thing in one day, so I'm just having a glass. Don't freak out. <laughs> So I was sitting with my dad having breakfast and he's not one who <laughs> is always wanting to for me to film like right there with him um, But yeah, so just enjoyed that with my coffee um, but anyways Just I'm getting to work. Well, I've been working for a bit and then I was like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll just do a little like montage. So Here we go we ain't going no catabolic we gotta get anabolic here building our muscles so lunch time for me i'm thinking of making a wrap not like you know logic and m&m but more like you know a breakfast-ish kind of wrap so i'm craving i don't know yeah a breakfast wrap with some vegan egg and vegan bacon so yeah i'm gonna make that with you guys and then you'll see how i do it sorry about the glare Meh. Mm. I glare too much, I know. Hmm. All right, you guys, so for this wrap, we've got some Joseph lavish bread. I'm gonna have half of it, so just cut it out with scissors. I do weigh it out because if you know Greg Doucette, he has mentioned that it is not quite accurate all the time, so I like to make sure that it is per the gram that it says on the back, because sometimes it's over, sometimes it can be under. You never know, but we are gonna make like a breakfast omelet as I mentioned so I'm gonna use the just egg love this stuff tastes great I mean it doesn't taste exactly like egg of course so we're gonna add a little more black salt like we did this morning I think I might add some vegan ranch on the bottom of the wrap because I don't know if ranch and eggs go together but we're gonna make it I don't know huevos rancheros I guess you can call it right so anyways and then we've got some smart bacon because how else are you gonna get smart and know to go vegan until you take some smart bacon so that's how it's done i'm gonna like start cooking all right we got the wrap and ta-da so it's all cut in half and then i'm gonna put one away use this one weigh it out just to double check that it matches the macros and yeah
Hello, Gimli. Gimli, say hi. You are so cute. Yes, I love you. Right, and here is the final product, our huevos rancheros. Um, and then I got some tomatillo salsa. Gimli. He's so weird. But anyways, tomatillo salsa that my mother made. So I'm gonna just eat it all together. And then maybe afterwards make another cup of coffee. Um, just a fun fact though. If you think I'm drinking a lot of caffeine, it's majority of it, it like the grounds that I put it in are decaf. Um, so I don't consume a lot of caffeine. Plus I always take pre-workout, so. All right, so I'm gonna make my coffee right now. So if anybody asks if like they're all, Katya, can you drink water? Yeah, I just drink filtered water, but I filter it first through coffee beans. So it comes out like delicious, don't you? All right, so while the coffee's brewing, I am gonna make something sweet because I'm always craving something sweet and I didn't have something right after breakfast. So I'm gonna make myself a protein muck cake and I'll show you guys a secret on how I do that. All right, so for a protein muck cake, you are gonna need your protein powder of choice. I'm using my Live Body. Feel free to use a coupon code. But anyways, like my drugs, I like to cut the protein powder to add more volume. So we are gonna add some pea protein. This is just unflavored. I bought it in the bulk section at Sprouts. So we'll use like kind of a scoopish of that and a scoopish of that and then put some baking powder and a little bit of baking soda. Mix it with water. Put in the microwave for a minute. Forgot to mention that step. I might add some chocolate chips as well and then top it with peanut butter. We'll see how I top it off. Uh, but yeah. We all like top, not bottom, just kidding. Also, I wanna add a little extra chocolate to this and add to the chocolatiness of my mug cake. So we are gonna add some pure cacao because we wanna make this as pure as the Holy Spirit. So we're gonna add a little bit of this into it, just something like three grams or so, just to add some richness to it, you know? Wanna make it rich as the Kardashians. comes out quite hot the glass so because I'm not putting it in a mug with a handle so yeah. all right and because of course you guys know I am the ultimate peanut butter connoisseur I am gonna be adding some Kirkland peanut butter focus dang it Ta -da, I love having the little touch screen on there but anyways focus back on me and then yeah so I'm gonna top it with that yeah, if you haven't seen my video on how much nut butters I've consumed in a year, go check that out. And just know that it was more than that amount because I actually ended up finding more jars. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna top it up with that, enjoy it, and then go back to the work. This angle is lovely. I know. Mm. Okay, but seriously, is that not like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I mean, there's this too, but like that. I mean, comparison-wise, like the beauty, the grace. What is up, you guys? So it's kind of later afternoon, just finished work pretty much. I mean, it's like 4.50, almost five o'clock. Do need to go to Sprouts because I only have like two things of tofu left. Drop off something at the UPS store, go to Walmart so I can get my flax milk and some soda pop, um, diet soda pop, of course. But yes, so I'm, I'm gonna get the tofu. I haven't decided how I'm gonna eat it, but we'll see. So I decided to go with my little sweet tofu um, instead of, sometimes I put the tomatillo salsa, that stuff that I used for my lunch. But yeah, I'm gonna just do Walden Farms because zero calories. So 
yeah sure it's got chemicals but that's okay when you want to make gains and want to stay shredded so that's what it looks like i'm gonna eat that and then go to sprouts and the other stops like i mentioned now with dieting of course you've seen that i've made like some delicious meals both my breakfast and my lunch were just amazing but also being low calorie and dieting down sometimes you are just trying to get little things here and there so just to get some pure protein in my system without the fat like extra tofu i'm gonna have <laughs> the plain protein batter but to sweeten it up i have the blueberry walden farm so i'm just gonna like mix that with some water and eat that i know it sounds weird but like i said i'm just trying to get macros in right now yeah all right so i'm back from the store got what i needed to get went to walmart missed out on going to the ups store sprouts you know, just got some of my essential. They ran out of my flax milk that had the extra protein. So I got some almond milk because I do like almond milk as well. And it's got pretty good macros. It's just not as high in protein. But yes, and then went to Zvon's really quick, get my coffee, all that stuff. I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm just like keeping you guys in the loop because I guess this is kind of a vlog too. I had one like slice of a pickle. I didn't really show that. Sorry. I know this is a full day of eating, but... We are about to work out. I'm charging my phone for a bit. May play a game or two. It is 6.30, so I want to hurry up. But we're doing some chest and shoulders. So, chesticles and shoulder curves. Short of miss. Yeah. But anyways. So, I'll meet you guys when I take my pre-workout. Alright. I need to not be lazy bum and just go downstairs and work out. Like, seriously, it's now like 7.12. And if I don't want it to get late, I need to go work out. So, got leggings on, shirt on, chest and shoulders. Just hit that with my elbow. <laughs> nice job, Katya. All right, we've got water. We've got pre-workout, and we're going to just take it straight to the dome. My lip body, I'm almost out of it. So, thank you guys for reminding me to go buy some more. So, yeah, because this flavor is really good. I'm, like, loving it. I might actually try their fruit punch, because usually I'm not a fruit punch person, but... Live Body has like some of my favorite products and I need to get their L-carnitine because I ran out of my other L-carnitine and as well as pr protein because I'm almost out of the peanut butter cup protein, the one that I used for the mug cake earlier. I think I'm craving like the cinnamon coffee cake or the fruit loops. I'll just get both probably. But I also want my Sun Warrior vanilla. <sighs> Choices, you guys. Oh yeah. I mean, it still tastes good. I wonder if it would work if you snorted it. Alright, so I'm going to start with my warm-up just with some bands and stuff. Not really going to film that part. Then we'll get into the workout. But I'm just not going to really talk during this because I do like to watch the TV. I usually put on the cooking channel either watching Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dies or Guys Grocery Games. I don't know. I really like watching the food channel whenever I'm working out. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm using my old camera because the battery on this guy just died when I was trying to film my incline chest press. So this camera battery is charging and hopefully this one will survive because this one's also blinking. So let's see if we can get through this. <laughs>
gotta show you guys what I did here. <laughs> I'm trying to do banded, as you saw, like chest flies. And I didn't want this bar to come off, so I just literally zip tied it. So it would stay and then this could be on like the farthest outer ring so that I could get, you know, a good width. But it works. <laughs> So of course my other camera died, but I charged this one just enough to catch it at my last exercise. So that's why it was cut off in the last clip. So we're just gonna continue with what I was doing with just the front raises. And then I'm gonna do some abs, but I'm gonna just stop right there and then I'll catch you guys post-workout. So for the next meal, All right? So actually I didn't realize it's almost nine o'clock. So I wanna eat first um, because I also have to do afternoon 20 minutes of cardio, so I'm gonna go in the kitchen and make something to eat. I'm gonna have to do a voiceover because my parents are watching the television, so, and it's kind of loud, so, yeah, voiceover time. All right, guys, so I decided to have some, you know, one of those diet pops, calorie-free kind of things, but yeah, so we got some vegan chicken strips, found these at Vaughn's, and then some meatless meatballs, got from Trader Joe's, just heat them up for like a minute or so. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. Added some mustard on top. The chicken strips are so good. But yeah, decided to have a protein mug cake using my collagen protein, some of the pea protein, baking powder, baking soda. You know the jam. But yeah, this is the car salted caramel flavor. Probably my favorite one out of all of them. But yeah, um, put that all together. And then once you do that, of course, you just mix it up with some water and then you put it in the microwave for a minute and then I decided to have some tea this the the com combination of these two are really good now I'm not someone who like advocates for like a quote-unquote detox tea but I just like the taste of it um I don't know when I get bloated the dandelion just helps with that so yeah this finished up top it off with some Walden Farms chocolate syrup pretty darn delish but yeah so Lace what it looks like just showing you guys because you know why not but yeah look it's got a nice cakey texture without adding flour to it so enjoying that <laughs> watching Greg do set obsessed with that guy I don't know he's really funny but yeah oh hi Gimli yeah you're all up you are so cute guys isn't he the cutest all right, give this video a thumbs up if you think little Gimli is cute. Gimli says, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's it for today's vlog, full day of eating. It's, I'm going to have to take a shower now because after the cardio, yeah, I just was saying goodnight to Gimli, the cutest thing ever. Having, this is just that like calm magnesium stuff and then with some like lemonade flavored water stuff so just sipping on that and then gonna take like a melatonin hopefully chill out i don't know i got this avino foot mask never done that before so i'm just gonna do that but i'm gonna end the video here because i love you guys i'm gonna let you go so go get the skins i had a good shoulder pump today so give that workout a try if you want but anyways yeah subscribe like see ya